In this video, I want to talk about uh, creating goals in Link Tracker to track leads, sales, or any other type of conversion that you want. To get started, choose the project that you want to work with and click on goals, click on add new goal. So the first thing you need to do is give your goal a name. And it is this name that will appear in your graphs and reports. Next, choose the goal type, sale or lead. Now in Link Tracker, um, in the settings page, which I will explain later, you can actually use the options that you select here to control how Link Tracker recognizes a conversion. So if it's an opt-in conversion, if someone is basically putting in their name and email address or filling up a form and no payment is involved, you can select lead. Or if it's an actual sale, you can select sale. Okay. Now the goal value is something that you will need uh, to enter. This value is required. So if uh, there is no actual payment made, you can always put 0, 0.00 and this will help to give you a more meaningful report within your Link Tracker account. So these are the three required fields. Next comes the unique goal ID. Now this is useful if you can actually uh, get the unique goal ID and pass it to Link Tracker. It will help us to prevent duplicate conversions. Now. Sometimes when you put your conversion code on the thank you page, that page may be visible to the same buyer more than once, or it could also be publicly accessible. Um, in that, in those cases, we link tracker may end up counting the same conversion more than once. Now to avoid that, if you can put a unique goal ID, and then we will reject duplicate conversions if the unique goal ID already exists. So what is the unique goal ID? If it's an opt-in, it could be a subscriber ID or an email address of the subscriber. Now, these two things are unique. So therefore, uh, there's, there's a very low probability of the same ID appearing again. It could also be a PayPal transaction ID or it could be your order ID or invoice ID. Anything that's generated within your system that is unique and that you can easily use to track back the conversion to see if it's a real conversion or to get more details within your own platform or system. That being said, you will need a little bit of programming skills to actually uh, pass the unique goal ID to Link Tracker. So for example, from your shopping cart, you can actually get uh, details in the shopping cart in the thank you page after the visitor has made a payment, you can extract the total value of uh, that particular card or that particular sale and you can automatically replace the value that you set here but you can also put in the transaction id into the link tracker code well now let's move on to ssl tracking now this i would recommend that you turn it off and you can only turn it you should turn it on only if it's absolutely required because um this does not work so well if you're using your custom domain. So if you're using your own domain name and not a default domain, uh, make sure that you contact us first to help you to get this sorted out. Okay, next click on create goal. All right, so this is the codes that you can put into your shopping cart or your system. Whenever possible, we will recommend that you put the standard code. The standard code is the most complete code. It has some JavaScript inside of the code. It also has the image pixel that you can use. Now, if you cannot do that, for example, if you are using a WordPress uh, theme or WordPress to create your site, then you cannot put a JavaScript inside a WordPress post or page text editor. In that case, you may want to use the pixel code because the pixel code, well, is just another image and you can put it inside WordPress within the text editor. If your WordPress page does support um, inserting JavaScript codes or custom HTML, and that could be part of an additional plugin that you've installed or part of your own custom theme, then you can use the standard code. Now the pixel URL, you should not use this within the page this url is mostly um, meant to be used with third party applications who would just ping this url or would just access this url to indicate that a conversion has been made so don't put this in the content of your 
WordPress page, you should put either the pixel code, which uh, is what we recommend for most WordPress blogs that don't have any feature or any way to put in a JavaScript code in their pages. But the best, of course, is the standard code. Okay, so the values that you see here, okay, sale, the conversion name, the conversion amount, and the conversion ID, these are not static values. This can be changed uh, by your platform when the conversion happens. So for example, I may want to replace um, the conversion amount here with the actual amount from my shopping cart. It does require a bit of custom programming into the thank you page of your shopping cart. So you can replace that. You can also replace the conversion ID. You can, you can replace any value that you see here. Okay, but if you can't or if you don't have the technical expertise, then you can create multiple pages for each product that you want to sell. And you can also specify multiple amounts. So you can just go ahead and create multiple uh, goals and rename or put in the correct product name here and the amount. And that would, of course, mean that there's more work for you to do. But again, this is only if you are selling multiple products and you don't really know how to get those important values from your shopping cart system into the link tracker conversion code. Okay, now this conversion code method is not to be used by affiliates. Some affiliate networks do support pixel code here or pixel URL. So if you are using a more advanced uh, or more modern affiliate program, then you can do it this way. And of course, you can put in the pixel code and you can replace the, the default values here or the default values that you see here, okay? With the variables from your affiliate program and whenever you make an affiliate sale, the values will be replaced automatically and sent to Link Tracker and we will uh, track or we will record the conversions as accurately as possible. But for most other affiliate networks like ClickBank or Commission Junction, those networks have not evolved in a long time and they only allow uh, TID tracking. So I will explain about TID or sub-ID tracking and how you can record conversions as an affiliate for those networks in a separate video. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.